everyone, this is Ian Robinson and welcome to another episode of Ask ZBrush. Today we're going to cover a question that came in, is there a way to keep the poly paint when decimating a subtool in ZBrush? So in order to keep poly paint on my subtool when decimating, we're going to use a plugin called Decimation Master. Now the reason why you would want to use Decimation Master is to reduce the poly count on any subtool you have, especially if that poly count is pretty high. If we were to isolate just the blade for a second, we could see here that the blade itself is dynameshed and it's quite dense. It's The active points is about 1.7 million, which is a bit high for what I'm going for with this axe. So we're gonna go ahead and reduce that using Decimation Master. So to access Decimation Master, what you wanna do is go up to Z plugin and we're actually gonna dock this on the left-hand side. So there's this little icon right here that you can hover over and you click on that and that's gonna pin that to the left-hand side of your ZBrush UI. We're gonna look for Decimation Master and open that up. Now you can see that we have a few options, but the one I wanna pay attention to today is this one here called Use and Keep Poly Paint. By default, this is turned off, but when we turn this on, now we're gonna tell Decimation Master to pay attention to the poly paint on the subtool we have selected, so when we decimate this, it will actually keep the poly paint along with decimating the model, bringing that resolution down. Now that we have use and keep poly paint, what we want to do is actually start the decimation process. Before we can actually decimate it, what we want to do is pre-process the current subtool. You notice you have a few selections. We have pre-process current and pre-process all. The only difference between the two is pre-process current will process the one subtool, while pre-process all will process all of your subtools. But for this tutorial, we're just going to focus on the current. So we're going to need to select pre-process current, then we can say decimate current. We also have some presets that if we were to come down here and say, oh, I want this to be 250,000 active points, if I click this preset, it will go through pre-process current first, then decimate current second. So for this tutorial, we're going to click the preset because it's going to do the pre-process and the decimation. So let's go ahead and do that. Now that the pre-process and the decimation is completed, you can see here that we've kept our poly paint, which is exactly what we wanted to do. Now, if you had any materials selected on there, all you need to do is go back to the material that you had, go ahead and come on up to the top and make sure that material channel is selected or just hit the space bar, material channel selected, go to color, color fill, and now we have our material back. And let's take a look at the wireframe. And you could see here that we have decimated and kept the poly paint on our model. That is it for this video. Thank you everyone for watching. Please continue to send in your questions to hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter and happy ZBrushing.